about 50, but let's go look at Jerry. I thought he'd better live in the valley. My sister died Sunday. We had a funeral day. I thought she had a, I wanted to tell this, it was so real. She might be loaded if she hit me or not. She had a massive brain bleed. Brother Mitchell, you're here at Preacher Funeral. But uh, she loved Mitchell. She had a massive brain bleed in the back of her head. The doctors told us, friend, and said, uh, said she's, her brain is dead. He said, they said, uh, just a little bit around the spine, or else said, we'll keep her breathing a little bit. He said, it's going gonna, it's gonna to die out too as the blood comes on down through her, uh, into her bottom part of her brain. Brother Larry and I thought, uh, you know, we, we prayed, we didn't know what to do, and, and uh, just praying. And they put her on the ventilator, and they said, you know, just a matter of time, and we'll take her off the ventilator. <laughs> but I thought of Sunday, I thought they was going to take her off at now, and I said, well, I was so tired, and I just go ahead and stay at home, and let them, I really didn't want to be in there, and, and uh, Sister Mary, I all got, and I didn't know it was going to wait that late, but they waited on up into the up into the day and walked out on the porch. I just went on to church, you know, and uh, that's where I go when I, we need help. Yeah, we need to go. But I thought uh, the first day she, you could touch her feet, and she would maybe twitch her feet a little bit, Dean, and and uh, you know, and day the next day I'd come home and. Her boy and then my sister and they said she won't do nothing now. Said so she can't even twitch her feet or nothing. And uh, I said, we won't say. They asked them, said you, you just want to get a chaplain to pray. And they said, no, we don't need no chaplain. Just a family, we won't pray together. I thought, uh, <coughs> I went in and my sister, then her granddad, just they had the final prayer and they prayed. They switched that ventilator off. And he said, switch it out and said the final prayer. She was laying there, couldn't move. But there was enough spirit in her that she pulled her hand out of my nephew's hand and raised her hands. And her. She raised her hands. And my sister told me today, said, when she raised her hands, said a big smile come on her face. And she eased her hands down and went on out. I thought that helped me so much. That helped me so much. To give us hope right down to death. Right down to death. That the Spirit of the Lord would let you raise your hands when you break down. Amen. One last time to praise the Lord. Feel like that helped us so much. I just slept in my Lord. We buried my sister today. I said, the Lord has lifted my grief. Lifted all my grief. And I just wanted to tell that. This, you know, ain't that something what you can be? Rain, man, but the Spirit of the Lord, it don't die. It don't die. It'll go right down in the grave with you. And it'll come right, it'll bring you right back up out of the grave. Ain't that something? You know, the technology and all the stuff they got now, they don't know everything. They said the nurses in Christ, they hadn't seen nothing like that. They ain't. She got down and she said, was getting down and she said, they, they was, I can't see no more. And just turned 60, but she had a bad diabetes and been sick all, part of her life. She said, I can't see. I'm, I'm getting where I can't see. And, uh, couldn't get around too good and had to use a wheelchair. <laughs> I thought it by for it. Maybe someone was with her. The Spirit of the Lord got to move in and she threw them hands up. Throw them hands up. You know, ain't it good with the Lord? Ain't it good that He said, I'll go all the way with you, even to the end of the world? And I just wanted to appreciate the Lord for helping us to the death of my sister. I told myself we have great hope. Sure. 
you know, I'm not no judge, and I can't, I ain't got the final say, and I'm glad I ain't. And I can't tell who makes it and who, you know, these people likes to judge. Say, this is made of that, and it made it, I'm not in that place. But ain't it good to have hope? Ain't it good to have hope? That the last moment that you have enough power in you to raise your hands and praise the Lord one last time. My sister said in a big smile come on her face. She left us. I appreciate that.